I came here to rob a witch, not find a ghost who's dummy thick. Do you think if I introduce myself, I might be able to clap those ectoplasmic cheeks? No? It's worth a try. What's up guys, welcome back to Barn Finders. The only game where you can sell a previously owned love doll is lightly used by hosing it off first. Now, I get the feeling I'm not gonna sell Shirley because she's become a productive member of the Barn Finders team. Okay, we formed a bit of a bond, but at the same time, I do need money. Like, I'm pretty sure we have an auction to get to today, so I might need to fix up and hose down some other jism covered things to sell. Was it a mistake for me to spend $800 on a hover repair station so that I could hammer a piece of string into the front of a $20 TV? I mean, apparently it works. So I, I don't really need to understand how, I suppose, is the end product that matters. You know, I, I don't need to be an appliance biologist. I just need to make sure that there are no stains, there are no band-aids, and just like that, we have ourselves a $200 TV. Who would have guessed the TVs are worth more once they work? I don't know how I feel about selling this. Oh, thank God. I thought this was a coffin. It's got the shape to it. It wouldn't be out of the ordinary for this store. It kind of looks like it's covered in soil, but it's actually some kind of antique diarrhea covered footstool. Well, Taco Bell has never made something that I can't hose off. We might not be able to get rid of the smell, but we just make sure that everybody plugs their nose when they come in to buy stuff. I keep thinking that I'm an idiot for trying to repair stuff using a hammer, but the last guy to try to fix this thing used band-aids. I'm clearly the handyman around here. Yeah, that should sell for 465 bucks. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I almost forgot I found the roadster after. Turns out Uncle Billy took it for a joyride and then forgot it in a ditch down the road, as if he's a drunken mess all the time. Surprising, I know. You wanna buy it? I still think $1,300 is just an awful deal for us. It's worth so much more. Maybe we can get more. Wait, he offered more already. What? He offered $1,480 and then he's going to give us another $134. Okay, so maybe we can actually get... Even two grand sounds really bad for this. <laughs> You're not going to give me two grand. $1,600. I mean, yeah. I need the money. If you're gonna take it, then take it. <laughs> Especially if this guy is gonna take it for another joyride. Where does he go? I need to put a bell on him like a cat. Come on, dude, seriously, $286 for a tomahawk? Wait, can you put a price on someone else's culture? <laughs> you gotta get, there we go, extra 65 bucks. That's what I'm talking about, $351. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Oh. We almost have five grand. I don't know how much we need for this auction. I keep bringing out more stuff like the crap wheelbarrow and random chairs and stuff like that, but I think we might have enough to get going. If anything, I might even have more money waiting in the computer because that's how computers work. Oh, hello there, Bobby. I, I gotta get to my favorite customer, of course. You want a picture of the dog? Can't blame you. Well worth traveling across the universe. I, I mean, it down the road for that. Right? You're not an alien, clearly. Come on now, a little bit more. That's the good stuff. I've been training for about 15 years playing Mario Golf for this moment. There we go. And then you want what? Uh, oh, my husband is a horse. Haven't read it, heard it's interesting. I think the protagonist's name is Mr. <laughs> Hands, but I can't be certain. Just be sure to give me like, yeah, 68 bucks. 69 would have been a whole lot funnier. Could have made a joke about that. Anyway, oh, get the stinky pits out of here, lady. $5,200. Okay, I think we're probably good. Let's see if we head in here. We should... No, we sold it already. Okay, so we don't have more money waiting in the computer. We just have Cousin Kevin with the topic of Moses Bang. What? Hoo boy, remember that crazy witch for out of woods? Her house belongs to Miko, and now it's on a special event. And remember that weirdo Cletus? He had a Moses bang there. Fancy to help an old friend, cousin? I understood like less than half of that, even though I managed to read all of it, but <laughs> sure, I'll find your rootin' tootin' taxidermy crocodile. Uncle Billy, do you have a son named Kevin? Is it cousin Kevin that recommended we go 
rob a witch. That only just sunk in. Is this a mistake? Doesn't this place just look inviting? Another creepy abandoned house in the middle of the woods. Like, I really doubt we're gonna be able to sell Eye of Newt or Toe of Frog from the evil swamp. But at the same time, if she can cast some kind of spell to make it so that it doesn't burn when I pee, then I'm gonna consider this a win. Uncle Billy, I don't know what is going on right now, but it feels like the spirits have gotten hold of me. The spirits of mouse acceleration. I move it just an inch and then it moves like a half an inch and then fires across the screen. I don't know how I'm supposed to do anything when I have a hard time just turning my head. Oh yeah, this is an auction. Oh, right. Hello, Delilah. How could you be this stupid, Turbo? I mean, he is the son of somebody who named their kids Turbo. The Croc Taxi, I'm a genius. The Croc Taxi? Should I even ask what that is? Is that some kind of weird sex move? Because I'm not all that interested. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how to move my eyes and my neck without wanting to throw up. You guys have any advice for that? No? Where's Uncle Billy? It's weird. He definitely drove me here. Did the spirits get him too? Have you seen my uncle anywhere? Miko is always happy to help those in financial need. Sure you are. I've got $5,800. If that's not enough for this place, then I probably don't want it, to be perfectly honest. Ooh. Did it come with all the barbed wire, or was that a latest addition? <laughs> all right, well, let's go to auction. Please let this go for, like, $5. Please. Where did all these other people come from? It's a party out here in the swamp. The starting bid is $2,500. Are you kidding me? Can I walk away? I just want to move on to the next location. I don't want to spend 3,500 bucks getting spooked. I'm just gonna wait. Just wait it out. Let them bid all they want. I'll swoop in at the last possible moment. Especially because it's already getting to the point where I might not have enough money. You are gonna give me a countdown, right? Okay, uh, maybe, ooh, I don't know if he's gonna give me a countdown. Ooh, crap, uh, okay, uh, there, there's, there's the countdown, there's the countdown. Over here, over here, that's right, 500 bucks more. 57.50, nobody bid. That's, that's the most I could do. I'm gonna be left with 61 bucks. I thought someone had bid there, Jesus Christ. Someone said something, but it was just after the auctioneer closed things off. $5,700. I had better find a solid gold wizard in here, so help me God. Oh, there's Uncle Billy. How did you get in here with the gate and all of the barbed wiring? Crap, Uncle Billy, there is a small dinosaur at your feet. Maybe take a couple steps back. Would really appreciate you not getting eaten. So little genie got divorced. Ah, oh, such a waste, my friendly. You're friends with this Dragon? I don't even know what- <laughs> Is it a crocodile, an alligator, a dinosaur, or a dragon? I honestly can't tell. If it's friendly, can I pet it? I kinda wanna- I'm sure if I get in the water, I'm either gonna die of gangrene or AIDS or something, so maybe not. <laughs> maybe instead we'll just go inside and see what we wasted our life savings on. Did you at least take the time to see if there are any witches around? Please? Back to work, youngin! Great, great. Yeah, in the middle of a conversation here. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay, you're, you're talking to the, the friggin' lizard. Ooh. Yup, that's, that's not a good sign. Uh, Uncle Billy? We don't know any Ghostbusters, do we? <laughs> that is absolutely a ghost. Wait a second. Cousin Kevin. Looks kinda like a Sims 4 ghost. I don't know if he was the type to sacrifice a chicken to the devil, but... Should I introduce myself? That was a bit of a spooky noise. Hello? Oh. And it's gone. It kinda looked like you, actually. Or maybe all of these people? Oh wait, these are the people from the auction, right? We got Turbo, we got a lady, man. Goes to show Turbo really did get the best name, it's the only one I remember. I've managed to find some kind of bathroom jail. 
Like, I can't imagine those are chicken bones unless the chicken was six feet tall and then this would be the world's creepiest coop. How do I get in here? Oh, here we go. Maybe, uh, something like that? Okay. Not sure I really want to step in here. I can sell these soiled, pained mattresses. <laughs> Great! Got, uh, floor. I'm guessing that's gonna be the torture chic floor. What was that? What? What kind of orchestra is following me around and hitting me with those noises? I don't appreciate that at all. <laughs> Should I go in here with the poop bucket? Oh, that is such a poop bucket. And now it's string and wood. Don't ask how. Oh, good. We're also gonna make string out of the human bones. Let's try not to assume the worst, okay? Maybe this is just somebody's kink. Like, I I'm not gonna shame them. The witch could do whatever she wants. I'm sure she's a consenting adult who I'm currently robbing. Oh, yeah. Completely forgot the whole robbing aspect of this. She is gonna be pissed when she finds out I raided her bug kitchen. Don't like that music. I do! <laughs> like, more stupid frog statues. Okay, well, you can come with me, that's for sure. Sell all of her garbage? Oh. Uh, those are meat hooks. Again, torture chic is not in, lady. So many bones and chickens. God, it's a good thing we didn't bring Mother Clucker with us. Freaking, ah, the, the, the bugs. I don't know why I'm trying to axe the bugs. <laughs> oh, was that important? I gotta stop swinging this thing around like a lunatic. I'm gonna... Hurt somebody, yeah, as if that hasn't been done in here before. <gasps> what do we have here? Weird. Again, it's the lady. Right? The missus from the auction, and she's being followed by that... I wonder if they even knew she was there. Maybe she's the ghost. Right? The witch could be the ghost. She... Not hanging out behind me, is she? No, okay. This isn't supposed to be a horror game! I can't tell if the noises I'm hearing are coming from, like, somewhere inside the house. Oh, or maybe it's outside. Maybe it's Uncle Billy talking to the crocodile. I have no idea. We've only got one more room to explore, as far as I can tell. Are you kidding me right now? It is those three. We got Bubba, Delilah, and Turbo Calf. His name is Turbo Calf? I mean, they're customers at my store. They all bought stuff from me just a few minutes ago. They were here for the auction. So, why do they have individual portraits and beds here? In a place that they couldn't win at auction? Weird. Okay, well, we've got their jeans. <laughs> and a guitar. I'm so confused right now. I don't suppose the three of you have an explanation for what I just found in my new house? How about you, Turbo Calf? Speak up! <laughs> Gators are great for transport. You're just like your father. Why did you choose to wear a leather suit to this auction in the middle of a swamp? <laughs> How about you? Have you got anything to say? Ma will not like this. It's all Turbo's fault. Ma? Are you three related? How about you there, Squirmy? Our family history sold to Miko. You are related. The three of you grew up here and the witch must have been your mother. Oh, that's weird. I mean, you can have the portraits and stuff. I just want to take everything of value and then break down everything of mild value into springs and plastic. I came here to rob a witch, not find a ghost who's dummy thick. Do you think if I introduce myself, I might be able to clap those ectoplasmic cheeks? No? Worth a try. She probably wouldn't have been interested, right? Like, she seemed pretty busy being dead and staring at a piece of a safe. That is what this is, right? It's the body to a safe. <laughs> what a weird thing to put on display out here. Is there anything else of value? I got rid of most of the garbage. Uh... Cosmo helmet. What is a Cosmo helmet? Oh, it's rated for radiation. You could have surprised me. It's, it's a bucket. 
<laughs> yeah, all right, we'll take that and sell that to some absolute idiot, I have no doubt. Uh, yeah, she didn't have a whole lot in here, mostly garbage. All right, oh, is the sun coming up? No, maybe? It's hard to tell. <gasps> There's gotta be something else that I'm missing though, right? Because, okay. Rock taxi. Turbo, you crazy, crazy idiot. <laughs> Is that a rooster driving it? Oh, mother clucker, you're not supposed to have jobs on the side. Get back to work. You had better give me the friend's discount, you little feathered Judas. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you're wearing a little hat. <laughs> and when I say the friend discount, I mean like an actual discount, not the friendly face discount that I give to people. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Come on. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, so what do we have out here? Oh, come on, at least eat the thief. Ellie, you. Oh, oh, hey there. Don't mind me, just a bit swamped, kiddo. Oh, a pun. Yeah, you'll see who's laughing once your dick is falling off from whatever's in this water. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, this has to be where we're supposed to go. Oh, this is probably the witch area. Oh, oh, wait, wait, come back, thick ghost. Come back, come, come back, would you? Okay, I, I just want to see if you can clap the cheeks, that's all. I don't think that's asking too much. She went this way, didn't she? She probably went in there. I think is down here. Oh, found a tree house. This probably belonged to Turbo at some point. Found her. Oh, she's just kind of having a good time. Just drumming. Think she's okay? Nope, she is definitely not okay. She's pounding back the beers and then air drumming with the rootin' tootin' taxidermized gator for all eternity? I mean, I should probably get in there and stop this, but at the same time, it's really hard to look away. When I open this door, please don't eat my face. I don't think that's asking too much. Oh, I don't have a key. Okay, so we have to go into the house to find a key. Well, if you're gonna hang out up here, then I don't think I really have anything to worry about in the house, right? We should be in the clear to explore this place. By explore, I mean rob it blind. Oh my god, my freaking neck. So her name is just Ma? Do you think she'd be okay if I called her Mommy? I haven't found anything all too interesting in here. Human bones are no longer interesting. That's just mundane. We do have some kind of, oh, a goat sacrifice uh, plate, bowl, not sure the technical term, and a dagger. I assume that's also a goat sacrifice dagger? Is that a goat sacrifice doll? Uh, Jessica. Hello, Jessica. You are probably haunted as hell. We're just gonna <laughs> go ahead and sell you. Uh, anything else? Why can I make my own key for some doors, but others won't let me? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Come on, there we go. First try. <laughs> so, what do we have in here? Okay, yeah, she would have a bubbling cauldron and a key. Okay. Well, oh, this junk? No, I should sell that. That is a legitimate witch's bubbling cauldron. That would fetch good money. It's even boiling with no water inside, and now it's a spring. I'm such an idiot. Okay, well, either way, go ahead and grab everything that we may want in here. A bunch of photos. Ooh, leaves? Yeah, something tells me that's also springs. As much fun as it is to ride the cock-guided crocs across the river, I think I'm gonna take this back to Uncle Billy because this definitely seems safer. Oh, wait, I can sell this. Oh, so we can sell this like a car. Well, that's pretty sweet. <gasps> All right. Is there anything else? This is technically a croc station. Maybe somebody else is coming by here. I know I said some mean things after seeing the fan boat. Here we go. But I was going to say, you're going to get a bad review if you don't hurry the frig up. <gasps> All right. Take me to wherever we're going. I can't imagine there's gonna be much more to this place. I still need to get back and deal with the ghost. Do you think I have a chance with her? You guys probably know her, right? I would imagine that the chicken is somehow possessed. 
<laughs> it's got a light on its little fedora. This is different. Where are you taking me? I don't like the hissing noises coming out of you. We're not going to lunch, are we? I really don't want to be lunch. Oh! Golden toilet paper. Right! Holy shit! I said I don't want to be lunch! Bring me over there! Over there, over this way! There we go. That's the good stuff. Okay. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Bring me back to civilization. Thank you. And to no one's surprise, she's right where I left her. I can probably put away my axe. I can't imagine it's gonna be all that useful against a ghost. I wonder if I back up enough, would I be able to open this? Oh, and not piss her off? Maybe we can, like, approach her gently? Think she'd be into that kind of thing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, everything is, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Look at you. You're still kind of skin-toned. You're not completely decrepit. So, uh, what them cheeks do? All right, well, it was close. Me and you now, I guess. <laughs> Go ahead and mark you for collection and then let's look around. She has some weird stuff in here. Hey, that's the item we needed. All right, Uncle Billy, it's time to go. I don't suppose this thing has a name, does it? Okay, no, you know what? I don't think I really care. We're, we're just gonna get out of here before something else tries to attack me. I mean, technically, your mother was very nice. I freed her spirit. I'm sorry I didn't give you guys a chance to say goodbye, but, you know, tough tits. Oh, we got so much stuff, though. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do just fine with all of this. And the boat! I, I can't believe we're actually gonna get a boat. How are we... We're just gonna drag that across the desert? It, it's good. It's gonna be nothing but a fan by the time we get back. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Barn Finders, guys. It just dawned on me that we didn't see any aliens this episode. Like, other than Bobby Gray, obviously. He showed up to the store, bought stuff because he's a king. He always does that. But we didn't see anyone dancing around the ghost witch. I can't really blame them. I just thought that was interesting. So I think we've completed six of ten locations, judging by the amount of golden toilet paper that I found. So if you guys want to see the series continue, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and I'll return to either get spooked or probed or rich. I don't even know anymore. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.